Seven of Swords? What is going on now? Ugh. Ace of Cups. Clarify the Ace of Cups. So we have out here, we don't have any signs out yet. Right as I say that, we have the Hierophant, Taurus Energy. What is this about a new, a new beginning in love, a commitment? Hmm. Can I about Frozen? Lessons. So something is on hold right now. Like, maybe there is some type of new beginning in love. Or even new love. I don't know. There's some type of new beginning in love that's kind of like on hold right now because somebody is resisting change. Like, like something that's supposed to be like, like it's like a spiritual connection. Obviously, you know, twin flame connection is a spiritual connection. Um, a commitment, marriage, whatever, something that could lead to a marriage, something like that is on hold right now because somebody is refusing to let something go. Like somebody is being very resistant to change. Here it says somebody, you maybe both have lessons to still learn or you, somebody still has lessons to learn here. Separation is necessary, Spirit says. Can I got five of cups? Strength. Mm, so somebody here is in this energy of like having the strength to finally overcome some type of breakup or loss or regret or sadness. Grieving of something. Leo energy. Say about the seven of swords. Money focus. Oh. Why does this energy keep coming through? Like, not even just for the Twin Flame Collective, but just in my collective in general. Like, somebody feels like you're a catch. Yeah, wanting to conquer, fear of losing you. Somebody may come in and ask you out on a date. What is this? You guys may be getting, like, multiple offers of a date from somebody. It may not even be your twin. It could be somebody else. We're like, hmm, we're going to take a look deeper look at that in a second. But what I'm getting here, <clears throat> sorry, guys, my voice. Somebody has been doing something deceptive in regards to money. Mm -hmm. Somebody's been doing something like they're either not letting go of a situation only, only because of money reasons. <clears throat> They've been lying to you about their money situation. Somebody's been choosing money over love here. And with the Seven of Swords, what well, money focus is clarifying the Seven of Swords. Somebody's been doing something shady in regards to money. Whether that's, like I said, holding on to a person strictly because they want money from them or they're using them in some type of way. Or somebody did something like stole. I don't know. There's something shady in regards to money here. Hmm. Somebody doesn't want to lose you. It's almost like somebody doesn't want to lose you. So they come in and they spend a little bit of time together or with you or they take you out on a date. And then they withdraw from you again. Yeah, they, it's like they disconnect from you again. They, they, it's like they don't ever really, like, put too much energy into you for very long. <sighs> Goodness. All right, so tell me more about this Seven of Swords and money focus. See, Three of Swords. Yeah, this person's put you in some type of third-party situation. Whoever this third party is, take care how it resonates. It could be you. It could be you're the one that they're using for money or it's somebody else. But I feel like it's more so somebody else. Tell me about the seven of swords and the money focus. What's that mean for my collective? What's that mean for my collective specifically, spirit? The ten, I'm telling you, they betrayed you in some type of way. I don't know, guys. Betrayal, painful ending. What does the seven of swords and money focus mean for whoever this, whatever this third party is? Yeah, feelings of neediness. Huh. Tell me more. Waiting and third party. Eight of wands. Ten of wands. What? It's like they're waiting for you to come back to them. What's going to end up happening here is that like all of a sudden... This person's going to release this third party or something like that. But they were waiting. Why were they Why were they in this energy of waiting? Yes, we're playing events, suffering. it. Maybe they still want it to be with this third party, guys. I don't know. What does waiting and wishing mean for how they handled my collective? Yeah, they were. they couldn't make up their mind about you. Judgment. Yeah, I don't think that they could make up their mind about you. They were weighing their options. I feel like they were still... 
But why the Ten of Wands, though? What's the Ten of Wands and the what's the T? Five of Pentacles. What's that do with my collective? Five of Swords. I'm telling you that they betrayed you. They play games. Four of Wands. They maybe told you that they wanted marriage and to settle down with you, but this person was not in. Yeah, they were in this player energy. Lustful, risk taker. Could be an Aries Leo or a Sag. Yeah, inconsiderate. Why did they do this? Ace of Pentacles. They do want a steady union with you. But this person has, is just very fickle. It's like they jump between wanting passion and want something stable. Not saying that they don't have passion for you. But they just are very w wicky. W I can't even talk, guys. They're very fickle. Mm -mm. I don't know. This is interesting. They definitely were juggling you and somebody else. How do they feel about the third party? Like, is that, I feel like it's maybe somebody that they weren't sure if they wanted to be with that person or not. But with money focus, it definitely was money was a motivating factor. I feel like they were trying to hide this. They're in this five of, like five of pentacles energy. So they're going through financial issues. How do they feel about the third party? See, this third party is giving something to them. They feel like the third party is generous. Like, the third party is giving something to them. Tell me more about Six of Pentacles. Seven of Cups. It's like they almost want a little bit of something from you and whoever else they're dealing with, too. Tell me about this. Or they're confused. They don't even know if they want to have something reciprocal with this person, either. Yeah, they don't know if they want to have something balanced with this person. They don't, they don't know if they want to have... So, tell me more. What does this mean? Six of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups mean for this third party, whoever this is. The Ten of Swords. Oof. They're, it's like this person is betraying everybody that they're dealing with. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. The Seven of Pentacles. It's like they're no longer investing in this. Why? They may, see, because there's, there's, some, there's somebody else now. Three of Cups date because they started spending okay hug oh, <laughs> it's almost like what they were dealing with this other person but they were still entertaining other options they were by doing this they were betraying this whoever this person was right because they were not even they don't even want to invest in this person anymore and it's because they, they've met you. You're like almost like, I, know, I hate to say this to you guys, but in regards to this connection, you are the third party. Like, I feel like this is somebody that they were dealing with before you. And then you came into the picture. But I don't think you knew about, you didn't know that they had somebody else. Maybe for some of you, you did. But there's this person that like, it's like they were like, give, guys, this person could have been giving to them, but they were exploring other options. There's been betrayal between them and this other person as well. I don't feel like they want to invest in this person anymore. Like, I don't feel like that. They're, 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 tell me more about the Seven of Pentacles in regards to the third party. The Tower. Yeah, what about the Tower? The Six of Wands. What about the Six of Wands? The World. Yeah, I'm telling you, something is coming to an end here. What's the Six of Wands, though? Divinely guided. This is what's this. This is supposed to happen this way. It's like now that this person has met you, they don't want this other situation anymore. They don't want like, but they're also not letting it go because of financial issues. What? Why did the divine guide for this tower to happen or whatever? Because there's supposed to be a union here. So, like, you guys are supposed to come into union. They're not supposed to be with that person. Tell me more about the four of wands. Wow. Oh, you guys are supposed to come together and be some type of power couple. That's what was supposed to happen. Four of wands and ten of pentacles. Long-lasting union, marriage, solid foundation. So, spirit is, like, kind of breaking up a karmic connection here. They were in some type of connection with a karmic that they weren't even supposed to be with. Or that it, what's the dynamic between them in this karmic 
What's the dynamic between them and this karmic? The five of so whoop, yeah, I'm toxic. Mind games, betray didn't I tell I just said this, like mind games, betrayal, and toxic love. Spirit is like they could sometimes what was the divine intervention that's closing out this cycle? The two I'm telling you, like I know this is gonna sound really weird, guys. But it's like, you guys encountered each other to help this person break out of this karmic cycle that they were in. It's like, you're kind of like lighting the way and showing this person a way out of this situation because I don't feel like they saw a way out otherwise. Or like nothing really like motivated them to want to leave this toxic ass situation until they met you. So what I'm saying. They don't even want this with this person anymore. Like, they had some type of toxic dynamic anyways. They were betraying each other. They were playing games with each other. Like, it was not any, It was not going anywhere. It was very toxic. Tell me more about what the Two of Wands is. What's the Two of Wands? The Dark Knight of the Soul. This person hasn't, it's like they're, le this person has 100, hasn't 100% 100 made up their mind yet. They need to go through this Dark Knight of the Soul. And they need to complete this soul contract that they have with this person, this karmic contract that they have with this person. They are going to successfully close out the cycle with this person. The spirit says this connection is protected. How does this person feel about my collective? Because I see here, how does this person feel about my collective? Ooh, they miss you. They want to reunite, Six of Cups. They feel like very nostalgic about you. Tell me, about, tell me more. The Seven of Wands. They feel like you guys have put up boundaries with them. They feel like they want to try, but they do want to fight for you. They feel like you're guarded towards them. Two of Swords. They still are indecisive about you, though. Tell me more. They could also maybe feel like you blocked them, but they do want to. They. Why are they indecisive then? Why are the Two of Swords? Oh, I feel like this person... Yeah, tell me more about sexual encounter. What about children? Healing. They need to heal their inner child. I'm telling you, they need to heal their inner child. This person has a hard time discerning between love and lust here. I feel like this person hasn't 100% decided if, like, it's really love between the two of you. They know that they're very attracted to you. Right? They know they're very attracted to you. Um, They do miss you. But... They, it's like they do want to like come in and like, they, they, they just have not been sure about whether or not they just, they like lust, oh, lust you or love you. Okay. Why? Tell me more how they feel about the fool. They feel like with you, they feel like the two of you together could be like a whole new world of possibilities. Okay. Like, a life that they thought they would never be able to have, they could have with you. Yeah, they want you. They want to manifest something with you, but they're still stuck in this, like, you can't manifest something if you're indecisive about it, guys. You know what I mean? And it's like they're in this energy of not, not, they're not 100% sure if they want to be vulnerable with you and take things to the next level with you because they don't totally understand what's going on between the two of you. And I feel like it weighs very heavy on them. They're, like, trying to figure out what this is. Um, they're not probably, they're probably not spiritual. Okay. They don't, they don't know what a spiritual connection is or like what a twin flame is or anything like that. Tell me more about why they're in this two of swords energy in regards to my collective. The eight of cups. What about the eight of cups? Rejection. They're just like, in the, why are they in this resistant energy? Ego. They need to have an ego death. Ace of wands. Yeah. It's like they, the high priestess. The Nine of Cups, like their intuition is telling them to pursue you, that you they could have happiness and fulfillment with you, but they're letting their ego get in the way here. What is the Eight of Cups, though? They need to walk away from something. They feel trapped. Why do they feel trapped in that situation with the other person? The Four of Cups, they're not happy over there, but why? Are, maybe they feel like you're going to reject them. Why are they feeling trapped? Queen of Wands, what about the Queen of Wands? The Forbidden, they kind of feel like you're out of their league. Yeah, especially with you guys. They know they have to do right by you. They know they have to give you something balanced. Yeah. Maybe at this time, they don't feel they have to, they can give you something balanced. Especially if they're depending on somebody else for money. They're, they're, they're in the Five of Pentacles energy. They're in this energy of lack. They need to get out of that energy of lack. You can't pour from an empty cup. 
but they just feel like you're kind of out of their league. They feel like you're in this very confident energy. You're very self-assured. Um, they feel very attracted to you, but they feel like they, it's almost like they feel like you're the forbidden fruit, right? They feel like you're just going to reject them if, while they're in this energy. Maybe you guys have already rejected them while they're in this energy and their ego cannot handle any more rejection. So I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what's going to happen. Yeah, because we have strength here. It's like they're sad. They're grieving you. They're, they don't like that you guys are apart. They're in a lot of regret, but they're trying to like tame their emotions type thing. But it's like they're trying to tame their emotions because they don't they know that if they come towards you, they're going to get rejected and they can't handle it. And you guys are in this energy of like overcoming the sadness and the grief that you guys felt about not being able to be in union with this person right now. And that was an obstacle for you. OK, was like, you know, holding on to the pain and the regret and the hurt and the breakup. It was keeping you stuck and stagnant, but you guys are in this energy of overcoming that obstacle that was, you know, in your way. This person, I feel like, is more so trying to tame their passion and the feelings that they have for you because they know that they're going to get rejected by you. And they know that they're still hiding something or they're being deceptive. There's something, it's something to do with money. We have, I became inspired by your presence, your energy, and your beauty. I told you, didn't I say you kind of have shown this person the way? Um, it says without you, I'm missing my tools to create my masterpiece. I told you, you are like the key for this person. You know how they, did you see how they, they feel like they're in the eight of swords. I put the, the cards away, but they feel like they're in the eight of swords and the eight of swords card is like literally a person that's in prison, right? This could even, this could be a mental prison or literally them feeling stuck in a situation, them being, being in jail for some of you. I don't know, but it's like. They feel stuck and it's like, they feel like, yeah, look at this. This person's in a jail cell. Okay. You're the key. Okay. They feel like you're the, the key to like the next level, the next stage of their life or being able to move out of this situation. I don't know. I am missing my tools to create my, ma my next masterpiece. Maybe this person also feels, here we go with this energy again. This person feels like when they have you in their life, like I said, you are a great source of guidance for this person. Right. And like, you're teaching this person a lot of things. And it's like, without you in their life, they're like kind of a little bit lost. Like, well, what do I do next? Do you know what I mean? Like they don't, they're maybe starting to realize that too. That without you, they're lost. Like they don't know like what to do, like how to like get out of, like how to navigate through whatever situation they're in right now. It says, I want to be able to make my own decisions and not feel bond bounded by our connection or the opinions of others. I'm not ready to commit and I'm unsure of what the future holds. They're also in this energy of, especially if they felt trapped for a long time, they're, they don't want to get into another situation and get trapped again. So that's another fear of theirs. Like they don't ever want to feel like stuck in a situation like they are in like the one that they're in right now. So it's like this person is like not sure about you because they don't know if like, maybe they thought that they loved this other person and they realized that wasn't the case. They don't even like that person. And now they feel stuck with them. Like that's what they're thinking about. It says, I'm working on my divine feminine side. I know I need to be more nurturing, understanding, and compassionate towards myself and others. I want to be more soft and loving, especially towards you. I don't feel like this is this is this person that needs to get more in tune with their, their feminine energy. This person has a hard time like showing emotions and being vulnerable and being nurturing and understanding and empathetic towards other people. They're very maybe self-centered, you know what I mean? And they know that, they need, yeah, they know that they need to be more soft and loving towards you, especially towards you, it says, because you guys have probably been this for them. You know what I mean? You guys have been soft and loving and nurturing to them and understanding, and they have a hard time doing that for other people, all right, unfortunately. Yeah, here we have juggling again. Having too much on their plate, dealing with multiple obligations at one time, unable to make decisions based on confused emotions, very confused. They're trying to figure out how they're feeling. I am trying to be patient. I want to return to you and I want, I want to, I want you to return and I want to return to you. Being apart from you feels like an eternity. They kind of feel like their time is running out though. We have destiny though. Well, spirit just corrected me. Okay. You're never too late for your destiny though. You were destined to meet strong, unbreakable bond, passionate love and strong desire, deep inner knowing of divine connection. So yeah, this connection is probably not going anywhere. And Spirit is saying that, you know, we are we also have that card that says that this connection is protected. So it's like, this is not something that's going to go anywhere. We have, yeah, inner turmoil. 
doubting and questioning decisions, fight between the mind and the heart, feeling worried, conflicted, and agitated, Unhelp unhappy with life's choices. What's that have to do with my collective, though? Inner turmoil? We have Libra. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Libra. I did see justice on the back of the deck. It says romantic, charming, diplomatic. This is probably this person. Romantic, charming, diplomatic, fair, idealistic, social, clever, smart, indecisive. Yeah. I don't know if it, it, it doesn't even have to be a Libra. This is just the energy that this person is in. They are like a very like, they can be very charming and romantic sometimes um, when they want to. And then they can be very indecisive and self-pitying and vain, like egotistical and unreliable and superficial when they're in their shadow aspects, like lazy, fearful. This is that person. And it's keeping them in a lot of inner turmoil. It's keeping them conflicted and stuck in cycles. It's keeping them stuck in dysfunctional, unstable, hurtful, toxic cycles. Same scenarios keep occurring, but unable to learn necessary lessons. A predictable, repetitive cycle of breaking up and getting back together. That's why. That's why this keeps happening. This person needs to like work on their inner so that their outer gets better. They need to heal. They need to do go to therapy. They need to whatever they need to do for themselves to work on the inner. They need to do that for themselves. Because until they work on that inner, they do that, they go through that dark night of the soul, they really heal and they really want to heal and work on themselves, their out their outer is gonna be full of turmoil. They're gonna they're gonna all their relationships are gonna be dysfunctional. Um, all their relationships are gonna be unstable. All right, yeah, and it's like they're still confused about you. I told you. I don't understand our connection, the way I feel when I'm with you. I'm not ready for whatever this is. I can't handle this right now. I'd rather not think about it. So yeah, they're still in this. Exactly. They're still in this avoided energy when it comes to this connection, but it says I've been working on myself, my self-worth, and I'm recognizing the issues that have been holding me back. I'm trying to heal myself by loving myself first. Exactly. This person needs to love them and work on their inner, like I just said, so that they can love you or they can cultivate a healthy relationship with another person. It's like they're realizing that somebody that they've been with is a false person. You may think you found the one, but they were, wouldn't cause you so much stress if they were. Wake up and I realize our connection is the real deal. Why is this person having a hard time? They've been like, they've been comparing your connection to this other one that they've got in their life. And it's like, they're realize, they're seeing that that one is full of turmoil and stress. Hmm. What is that false flame card? And then I'm taking this over to the extended reading. What does false flame here mean for my collective? Aquarius. It could be an Aquarius. Tell me more. They did something impulsively. Ooh, yeah. They could have ghosted you guys or kind of just pulled back their energy out of nowhere. They did something impulsively. I don't know if they went back to that other person or they chose that other person over you. Wow. They pull, they, you know why they, if they pull back from you guys, you want to know why? <sighs> they did, they definitely just, they're, I told you they're very flighty. Unpredictable. They did something unpredictable. They detached out of nowhere. Could be an, yeah, it could be an Aquarius for some of you, but it's more so just the energy. They did something impulsively. I'm sorry I had to run, but I couldn't tell you how I felt because I don't even know how I feel, Lord. It was easier for me to walk away instead of having to explain myself. Yeah. But then we had, this is, this is what was going on with them too. I'm used to being the central focus of everyone's attention, but your magnetism outweighed mine. And I was insecure about that. It could be a Leo for some of you. So this person gets insecure because they feel like you, your energy overpowers theirs or they feel over overpowered by you. Not that you guys are even intentionally doing it, but it's just because they feel like you are maybe you make more money than them. You're more stable than them. You, they feel like you're more attracted than them. There's something about that and they get super intimidated by that. I don't know. They could have like ghosted you or like detached after you told them something like, like some type of achievement or you shared some type of good news that happened for you. Like, and you may not even have been doing it to like make them feel some type of way but it did make them feel some type of way like they could have ghosted you after like you shared something with them or like they started feeling insecure about you i don't know why let's do one more and then i'm going to take it over to the extended reading hopefully this wraps it up well there we have third party situation again 
yeah, main character or the side piece, another person got in the way of the relationship. So yeah, like, I don't know what happened with, see, look at this money. I'm telling you, I don't know if this person offered them some money. Something happened with money and it kind of made them do something very impulsively when it came to going back to that person or like pulling back your energy, pulling back their energy from you. Main character or the side piece, another person got in the way of the relationship, feeling betrayed and second guessing self-worth. That's probably how they've made you feel. All right. But I feel like they feel betrayed by this third party, too. I don't know what happened between the two of them, but there's definitely been betrayal between the two of them and toxicity. But it says, I'm not feeling fulfilled in my life. Therefore, I'm chasing money and status as a way to increase my self-worth. I also feel I'm not equipped to handle our connection. I'd rather focus on what I can control. Mm. This person doesn't feel like they can control you. And they, it's like almost like this person doesn't feel like they can impress you. Like this person likes to feel like they, th this is why they need to heal guys. They like to be the center of attention. They like to be the, the one that makes the most money. They like to be the one that is doing the best. Like everything's a freaking competition for them. Like they feel like they, it's almost like this person's a little bit in competition with you. <sighs> they don't like that. They don't feel that they can control you. Mm -hmm. It's weird. It's very weird. But this definitely is your twin because we have twin flame here. <laughs> but I do feel like you guys are going to be learning lessons separately for right now. Yeah, I know you want more from me, but this is what I can give you at the moment. I'm unsure of what I can give you and when I can give it to you. But I do want to offer you something more valuable. Yeah. Than before. But yeah, they're definitely trying to work on self their, their self-image. Like, because they are very insecure. Yeah. They have a hard time, like, instead of looking at it like you guys can both be successful, you guys can both be up there, they feel like they got to be the one up there and you got to be a little bit below them. Like, that makes them feel, like, secure, like, them making more more money than you, them being doing being more well off than you, them, how do I, what, I don't know what else, them have a high, having a higher status than you makes them feel secure because they feel like they have the control. But the fact that they feel like you're way up here, they put you on this pedestal, that makes them feel small. They need to get out of that that way of thinking like they need to heal. And until they get out of that way of thinking, this connection between the two of you is never going to work. 